Hey guys, welcome to my brand new filming setup, aka my literal bed. I'm really just experimenting here, this might be the last time you see this setup. But anyways, as you probably know, there are many ways to buy and sell secondhand clothing on the internet, such as Poshmark, Etsy, the most unhinged, of course, being Depop. I don't know what it is about Depop that attracts the most insane people. <laughs> Today we're going to look at some of the crazy things that people sell on the Depop app. I think Depop is the only clothing selling app that has an entire drama page dedicated to it. Depop drama. I think they have a Twitter and an Instagram. There's also r slash Depop on Reddit, which it's just about anything Depop, but there's a lot of drama on there too. The things I'm going to show you today are pulled from all of those places along with a couple of things that I've just come across browsing Depop myself. Let us start with the Silk Almond Milk Corset. <laughs> This was posted on the Twitter page. I think this one got a lot of attention, mostly hate. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of like this one. Okay, for no reason, I love things that are made of food packages, like if someone makes something from candy wrappers or ramen packets. Any clothing with like food aesthetic I like for no reason. I just think it's cool. Imagine this, high-waisted jeans, a cool belt, combat boots and a jacket so that it's kind of just peeking out a little bit definitely a conversation starter i think it kind of slaps next we've got these shoes that are barely worn and in good condition i've come across too many posts like this i was looking for birkenstocks at least this person has the decency to sell them for cheap but someone was selling Birkenstocks at like nearly full price and they were like very worn. Some beautiful hand distressed pink Levi denims for $120. Okay, so these are interesting. I would like to see them on. They could be cool. <laughs> Am I lying to myself? How are you supposed to wash these? I feel like they would fall apart the first time you tried to wash them. They're just too close to disintegration to be um, a good investment of $120. Now this one I feel like has to be satire. Look at the um, description. Now this is a feedback. Ben wrote, this person won't ship my item and it's been two days. Two stars. Okay, Ben. Maybe wait, I don't know, two weeks? Sometimes I drop it off at the post office and it takes them a couple days to even scan it. So you know what, Ben? You need to relax. I don't know, I think if people had a little bit of patience, some things could be resolved. Not everything, but... Okay, this one I saw myself when browsing. I'm actually looking for kind of a coat like this right now. So I've been browsing the apps, but I came across this, <laughs> this listing. A lot of people do ISOs, which I believe stands for in search of, which can be a little bit annoying when they don't put ISO in the picture. So you click on the picture and you think that um, this is a person selling this item, but it's not. They're just looking for this item. But I don't mind it for the most part. I just thought this was a really funny description. If anyone has anything similar to this for under $110, please message me. Please. I have been searching since September. I'm literally so sad and have been crying. <laughs> Same. Same, girl. It can be frustrating looking for an item. <laughs> Picture of me in a completely thrifted outfit, not for sale. If you purchase, you will not be refunded. $35. I mean, this is a very cute outfit and a very cute picture, but people gotta stop using Depop like Instagram. I know it's, it's shaped like Instagram, formatted like Instagram, but it's not Instagram. This I literally just saw on the Reddit page. Ahem. Lower to five or I'll leak your address. Excuse me? I'm being for real. You need a lush shower gel so bad you are threatening to release my home address. Yeah. Like why? Just change it, I'm poor. Cool, I'm poor too, that's why I'm reselling. Can you just give it to me? Luckily, I've never had <laughs> any experience like this, but that's pretty wild. We've got this, $45, I think it's Canadian dollars, experimental, ugly, asymmetric, handmade patchwork tube top bra. Hand sewn by me, one of a kind. 
two flowy pink butterfly wings in the front. <laughs> butterfly wings. Listen, someone out there might wear this. This is a post from the same seller. I had to censor this one quite a bit because I think it would get me this video blocked or something. Basically this top uh, reveals quite a bit, which, you know, no problem with that. But um, this handmade one-of-a-kind top is $110. I'm of the opinion that if you make something yourself and you choose to sell it, you can sell it at literally any price you want. Any price you feel is right for the time you put into it. But also, that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to make fun of this. <laughs> There's no occasion in which you could actually wear this top. Maybe for like a photo shoot with like an interesting um, like ripped up clothing kind of concept. But if there are people out there that would buy this, I don't know, who am I to say? anything. <laughs> that is gonna do it, I think, for this video. Depop is insane, and I love it. I have never had a crazy experience with a customer or with a seller. Oh, this one girl I tried to buy something from, and she messaged me a couple days after I bought it and said, oh, sorry, there's a stain on it. And I was like, okay, can I see the, the stain? Or how crazy is the stain? Maybe I still want it. And she didn't respond for a while, so I was like, hey, can I have a refund? And she and she was basically just like, yeah, I gave you, I, I issued you a refund a while ago. There was no money, there were no pending refunds coming to me, so I ended up filing a PayPal dispute. But that's the only time I've ever had to file a dispute. I won. I got my money back. But, um... Yeah, luckily they have that protection, so if things go crazy, there's PayPal disputes. But that's kind of the only bad experience I've ever had. Other than that, I just love looking at the funny things that people <laughs> try to sell on this app. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video. I, I could definitely do, uh, like, a part 2, a part 3, a part 10, because there's so much of this on Depop. But... That is gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'm probably gonna come up with a new setup sometime. I don't even know. I'm just experimenting with the different ways I can um, film right now. I got this new light, which is like the most beautiful light I've ever seen. I'm like obsessed with this light. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.